Um, so the first question is for you, Patrick. The last time that we saw Professor X, um, well, I guess first he was facing death. And now in this film, he's facing the entire extinction of his kind. How is he handling that? Well, being Charles Xavier, he is handling it as calmly as possible. But I, I, I think we were able to communicate the, the, the stress, the tension, the danger that was involved in their system. Because for the first time, he was facing a combatant uh, with whom there was no reasoning. Um, uh, and uh, by the way, there was there was a little scene that maybe you missed at the end of uh, 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 Last Stand, um, which kind of helped to bridge the gap between being vaporized by Jane Gray, uh, Jane Gray, <laughs> <laughs> Jean Gray, uh, and then appearing uh, in uh, leading the X Men again in this movie. Um, it, it all makes total sense to me, and uh, and I'm glad that it does, because I was so delighted to be back in this world. And um, would you like to speak to Kitty's role in the film? Yeah, I um, was thrilled to be back to play Kitty, and um, essentially what's happened with her is, as, as, you know, she's, her power has evolved, you know, not just to have the ability to phase through objects and walls, but to send people's consciousness through time. Mm -hmm. Um, and that ends up, you know, being an, you know, an integral part of, of s saving us from the situation we're in because Professor Xavier has the, you know, r miraculous, wonderful idea of going back to a very, very specific moment and changing the course of history. And, um, and then Logan goes on that, that journey to hopefully save us from what, like, what looks like might potentially be the inevitable. And so you were both set in the future. What's the relationship between um, Magneto and Professor X in the future? In the future, we are working together for the first time. We are once more colleagues and friends again, as we were uh, in, in, uh, in, the, in the past time with, uh, in the roles portrayed by, by James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender. Um, and uh, certainly in the case of Magneto seeming to regret the, the waste of all those years when they were in such uh, violent opposition and disagreement. And um, in this film, you're reuniting with Ian McKellen on screen, but of course you've worked together on stage. Um, how has your working relationship and friendship evolved since? Well, the friendship really deepened and strengthened uh, as a result of X-Men, uh, one feature of these movies is that you do spend an awful lot of time waiting. And uh, we had, uh, uh, thank you, Lauren Shula Don, that we had very comfortable trailers. And so Ian and I, we were neighbors and we hung out in one another's trailers. This was way back in the 90s. Um, and uh, found that we had a great deal in common, um, where we came from, our, love for Shakespeare and classical theater, a love of stage work and so forth. And uh, it then really grew into a, a working relationship during the time of X-Men. And then five years ago when we did Waiting for Godot in London, and then this past winter when we've done that and, uh, and another play, No Man's Land, here on Broadway. So uh, in fact, I have spent, I would say, every, almost every week of the last 12 months in Ian's company. and. Uh, it's been delicious. <laughs> That's wonderful. And um, how did it feel returning to X-Men after um, the 2006 appearance in X-Men The Last Stand? Great. I mean, I didn't necessarily expect it at all. So it was a lovely, lovely surprise. And um, honestly, it's just kind of an honor to be part of such an awesome franchise and, um, you know, and be a part of something that means so much to so many people and to work with just the most extraordinary actors, so I just feel like a very lucky, you know, young actor who gets to sit and watch really amazing people perform in front of my eyes. <laughs>